I am 27 and a half weeks pregnant, guys. It was a whole big thing. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? It was a nightmare. Awaited vlog. Now I have got so much to fill you in on. I can't, I don't even know where to start. I literally don't even know where to start. So I think we should start from the beginning. Hello everyone, welcome back. Now we were going on our first family holiday to Crete and I need to take a breath for a second. Guys, it ended in disaster. It ended in disaster. A very quick catch up because this video is not going to be a Debbie Downer video where I talk about the disappointment of our family holiday. This video is actually quite an exciting one because we are actually going to be doing a little baby girl shopping haul today. So I have got a few things that I've ordered online that I need to go and collect, which we are going to do a little bit later on and I'm then going to show you all the little bits that I've got her so far because if you are new here I am 27 and a half weeks pregnant but to go back the time you saw me was probably a couple of weeks ago now and I was a little bit stressed and overwhelmed so looking forward to just having some really lovely quality family time into too much detail because I have really been struggling mentally with the whole situation that happened. But to cut a long story short, after being there 24 hours, I was admitted to hospital. I was actually rushed to hospital and admitted to hospital because I had gastroenteritis. Very, very very sick very sick indeed we're not sure where i caught it from because you can start showing symptoms after between like 24 and 72 hours we don't know whether i got it before we went away on the flight at the hotel we don't know nobody knows where i got it from but it's besides the point i got it and when i got back to the hotel 10 hours later mike caught it that's when he started showing Hello. symptoms we had to get the doctor out, he had to have an injection. It was just, guys, it was a whole big thing. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? It was a nightmare. It was, it really was a nightmare. I'm gonna be honest, it did make a whole video. Yes, baby, Miss Starling. Did make a whole video about this, but when I looked back on it after I'd edited it, I was like, this is the most depressing video ever. Nobody wants to see this, including me. I don't want to be reminded of this. So I I haven't posted it basically, and I'm not going to post it, but fine to our rooms for five days. After five days, I said to Mike, I've had enough. I want to go home. And so I booked us a flight home and we flew back three days early. That was our holiday that was our first family holiday and since then bed rest for two weeks now i'm going to be honest we don't really have any help when it comes to childcare, and oliver's not in nursery till september so basically just had to make it work between me and mike even though i've obviously been really poorly and with me being pregnant as well they said that it would affect me obviously a lot more and it would make me a lot more drained which it has it's been a very 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 difficult time like that's one thing i've realized is as a mum oh you want that one darling as a mum you, you don't get to rest as much as you would like anyway so 
that's why I've been MIA guys that's why I haven't been around that's why you've not really seen me and it's quite funny because you if you follow me over on my Instagram you're probably thinking where is she why are we not seeing reams and reams and reams of photos and videos of her having this amazing time on holiday it's because I was in hospital guys and then I was confined to my room for five days so so many exciting videos so today we are doing our little shop with me and haul next week is going to be my NEC Birmingham baby show vlog after that will be a prep with me and a nest with me oh my goodness I'm so excited I'm so excited I cannot wait to share this experience with you guys and literally been looking forward to this moment ever since we got back from holiday like literally ever since we got back from holiday to get in that little baby newborn pregnancy bubble do you know what i mean i just need to get in that little bubble so guys that is what we're going to be doing i'm going to quickly finish getting ready i need to get oliver ready and then we are going to go into town grab all of the bits that i've ordered there's quite a few bits guys and then we'll come back and i'll show you everything that we've got you want to play with your blocks do you want to play with your blocks? <laughs> Look at your breakfast on your face. Right, mummy just needs to get petrol apparently. What we listen to today? Your favourite song? Yes, he loves this song. Absolutely loves the song. Fast Car by Luke Coombs. <laughs> I wanna take it to Let me show you, hang on. Oh darling. You got a fast car. <laughs> Look at that smile! Right, let's go guys. Let's go pick up our baby girl bit so I can show you all of the gorgeous pieces that I've bought and some lunch, what do you reckon? I think we'll get some lunch. Gorgeous little baby grows here. Look how cute these are. They've got like little bunnies on them and flowers. So they've got the bunnies here and then they've got these cute little flowers. I think it's always oh, a set of four. I didn't realize that. One with love hearts and then another one with bunnies on it again. How cute is that? Tiny, that's up to five pounds. Look how small that is. But I'm thinking because baby girl is coming out really small, I might actually get some more either up to one month or newborn. These are 18 pounds. Yeah, 18 pounds for was really good. Um, I'm just seeing if there's any others. Oh, there's some up here as well. These are cute. These are very cute. These have got like a little, in fact, I think these are the ones I've ordered. Um, I'll have a look in a second, but yeah, they've got some really gorgeous, gorgeous pieces for little girls. And then also, they've just got some plain ones here as well if you wanted them. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. So many gorgeous pieces. These are perfect for summer. Look at those, those look gorgeous as well. How much are they actually? Really £18 for a set of three again, which I didn't think was that bad. But yeah, some really cute pieces in next if you're looking for some really girly bits.
into M&S to collect an order and I've just found these are really cute little baby grows. Look at these! Up to one month which is nine pounds which is kind of what I want to be honest because I think I said to you baby girl is coming up quite small at the moment. I don't know whether to get up to one month or newborn but they are so cute. They've got like little bunny rabbits on and floral pattern as well which is really cute. How much are they? £16 for two which isn't, it's not horrendous but in I've just been in Next and they had five for £18 so it's quite a big difference isn't it? Apart from that they haven't got too much else in to be honest with you in terms of little kind of girly bits. They've got some older girly bits here but for kind of newborn and babies they've got some beautiful little dresses here actually. Look at this gorgeous dress. Oh my goodness me. Look at this. Wow. That is stunning. That is so beautiful and summery. Look at this one. Oh, that is lovely. How much is that? That's £20. But again, so, so cute. Love that. Oh, and a little cardigan to match. It's so girly. <laughs> never seen them before but basically they have like really kind of beautiful easy patterns inside them and I find this so therapeutic to do so I think I'm gonna get one of these I'm not sure how much it is though let's have a look what does it say oh I think it's here six pounds that's not bad is it six pounds but I also need some colouring pens as well. I wonder if they, if they do those. But I'm going to grab one of these I think because I absolutely love the type of colouring books and as I said I find them so therapeutic.
we are back we are back from town and not only have i picked up a few bits i've also got a couple of deliveries to go through with you as well to share with you everything that i've bought do you know i think i've gone a bit overboard and if mike was to see everything that i'm just about to show you he'd be like i thought we weren't buying loads for baby number two and here we are start off with clothing first and then i will move on to accessories so i'm actually into kind of little piles of where i've bought things from and what i'll do is i will pop everything i can into the description box below just in case you wanted to buy same thing i said i've got quite a bit guys so brace yourself brace yourself i don't know about anybody else but when it comes to baby grows i have an obsession i literally have an obsession all of these reels on instagram that say my toxic trait is my toxic trait is buying tiny little baby grows that are so so small that they're probably only going to wear once or twice because they're going to grow out of them so quickly but because they look so cute i have to buy them so i'm going to show you a couple that i got from m s and oh, actually got two sizes i think i got one which was zero to three months and one that was up to one month and the one that's up to one month this was 10 pounds and it says of my mummy can't get over it i cannot get over it i bought this one here which was also 10 pounds and this one says i love my daddy See that there zero to three months in that one because i thought if i get both of them really small she is just going to grow out of them really really quickly so i got both of those from m&s they picked up these shoes from george and i'll be honest these are probably just going to be for like photo purposes little white shoes that are zero to three months and they were four pound fifty the thing i picked up from the little white company which was 32 pounds which i know is a lot but again it's this cute little floral white dress and is zero to three months hopefully it'll last her a little bit longer but i absolutely love the little white company and i bought something for oliver when he was born so i thought i have to do the same thing so i got her this little dress which i thought i could match with the shoes and then maybe some either frilly white socks or some little white tights thing that i bought from the morrison's baby range the little nutmeg range this is zero to three months and i think these are called a romper i think that's what they're called but again i really like the like little frilly detailing on here i really like the little floral flowers wasn't that much it was under 10 pounds for this one what i'm struggling with the most guys is because she's due end of august she's literally the end of summer and then going into autumn so it's really hard to kind of gauge what to get her and what not to get her in between but whenever i'm seeing something i'm like Do you know what just buy it and if she only wears it once she only wears it once but at least she'll look really really cute okay moving on to next now then i love i love next baby clothes a couple of bits and then i've also bought a couple of bits so i bought these bling cloths this is for a set of four two with the design and then two plain ones but i really really like them i ordered these online and i'm sure these were 10 pounds was born in 2024 now this was also 10 pounds and it comes with a little hat and i think did it come with mittens no it just comes with the hat but a little bit disappointed with this purely because a green pattern on it i don't know if you can see it there but i don't know i i probably wanted something more girly but again i got oliver born in 2024 baby growth from next and just wanted to do the same thing for baby girls so i did get that one and it was 10 pounds so i thought you know what, it's not the end of the world if again i just take a photo and then that's it and then i did get these really beautiful baby grows and i think this was a set of five as you can see in marks and spencers they had i think it was three for 20 pounds these are really really cute so again they're, they're all patterned on here that has like little bunny rabbits on like little hearts on orally one another bunny rabbit one but it's white and pink instead of the pink and the white 
how lovely are they and yeah for those it was 18 pounds which again i didn't think was that bad really pop this on the hanger because i didn't want it to get creased this is where the frilly gonna kill me when she's older when she sees the photos outfits come out now this was 18 pounds so 18 pound for this little dress but again i think i got this in i got this in up to one month because i thought i could this is her first little doing her outfit in her newborn shoot maybe it's quite big for up to one month i think it's so traditional just had to buy it final bits of clothing now then I've gone a bit mad in two Sainsbury's. They had loads of really good deals and I think it was 20% or 25% off the other day and I went online and I literally bought loads. So the size they had was zero to three months, which is this one here, but let's look at the pattern on there. Look how gorgeous that is. So this was originally eight pounds, but as I said, I actually got 20 or 25% off and I just thought, I love the colour of that one. It's not too pink, you know? Some pinks can be like really, really pink. It's kind of like a blushy pink. I really like that, so I grabbed that. And then following that theme, I bought this little outfit here. So it actually has little trousers to match. I don't know if you can see that there. And this was 12 pounds, but again, I got the discount. And it's zero to three months bought this little dress again eight pounds little romper here ten pounds then another little dress which came with cute little frilly socks and was 16 pounds that's it for kind of clothing that i've brought so far i have bought this sleeping bag now if you haven't seen my newborn essentials video head over and have a look because when oliver was a baby he hated being restricted he absolutely hated being restricted and he loved and when i say loved i mean loved a sleeping bag so just in case baby girl is the same i've bought this gorgeous sleeping bag again from two sainsbury's just look detailing on that i love the fact that it's kind of a neutral color like this pink little detailing on there now this is a 1.5 tog if this is up to six months yeah this is up to six months and this was 17 pounds but again i got the discount so it wasn't that bad we're going to be upstairs on the top floor now it gets really warm in there in the summer so even if we don't have the hottest summer it will still be warm so i'll still be able to use that kind of into september even possibly october still think i'm gonna get some usage out of it on to a few little accessory bits that i've bought and that i ordered online actually i collected a couple of bits from boots earlier and also i've had a little amazon delivery so i'm going to show you that first so first things first i've bought this nappy caddy from amazon i haven't actually opened it yet so i'm going to have a quick look now snappy caddy in again this kind of like blush pink color i'll show you in a second what i want to go for in her room is obviously kind of like white and pink but again i don't want it to be too pink i want it to be more of like a like i say like a blush color um so i've gone for this one by pumpy cubs it's called i'm not gonna fully take it out but oh this looks really nice so it looks like inside the actual material looks lovely obviously i need to put the divider in it shortly and this is the color of it and again as you can see it's not like pink pink like a vibrant pink it's more of like a blush pink i really like that that's a nice size too actually so i'll insert the divider shortly i've also got this book here which i had one for oliver so got one for baby girl and it's there's your story and it's by bb and Bo, and i just think this is the most beautiful lovely keepsake and idea i've ever seen you can get it in different colors i got it in gray for oliver and i've got it again in this kind of light blush pink color but inside it's basically got lots of different sections that you can go through and it takes it up to i think it's like five years old which you it has like welcome to the world your birth date where you were born it just has loads of gorgeous little keepsake ideas photos that you can put inside just like loads of 
different little memories so when they look back and when you look back you can just kind of see everything that they've achieved and it's just such I think a lovely lovely keepsake and I just thought this was a really lovely way to try and capture some of those moments and have memories to look back on last bits I actually got from Boots and again I just got these muslin six pack for £10 I believe and I thought they would look really pretty when I do my little nest with me video if you want to see that make sure you press the subscribe button because that's going to be next but when I do my little nest with me video coming up shortly really nice to have some of these and the ones from Ext show a little bit and I thought they were really really cute finally got this changing mat from Boots you can actually get it in an elm as well but this is the cheapest place that I found it again they had discounts on I hope that it's going to be the right colour because again I want to go for that kind of like lush pinky colour and this is the only one I could really find with Oliver it actually bought my changing mat from Ikea and I don't know depending on what this one looks like and I'm going to have a look in a second depending on what this one looks like I might get it again but we'll see so moment of truth Hmm, okay. It's kind of like grey piping along the edge and then it's got these little dandelions on it that have got a little hint of pink. Just looking at everything else I've got and I'm like, I don't know. It feels really soft actually. It feels really, really lovely, but it just, I don't know, it's something about it. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like this? I don't know. I'm not sure it was 20 pounds in the sale i think it was supposed to be 28 pounds but i got it for 20. Mm, i'm not 100 percent sure so guys that is everything that i've bought for baby girl so far in terms of clothing and accessories i have got a few more bits coming from mamas and papas and we will be heading to mamas and papas shortly as well to do a little haul so if you haven't already make sure you press that subscribe button but as I said, the next few videos are going to be a prepare with me, nest with me, and then there'll be a couple more hauls coming too. But I'm so excited to just share this journey with you. Guys, make sure you comment down below, give this video a like if you've enjoyed it, and thank you so, so much for watching if you have made it to the end. I really hope that you guys understand why I've been a little bit MIA since coming back from holiday. Guys, it's been a journey. It's been a journey, but now we can finally see start preparing for baby girl and I can't wait for you guys to come along with me so without further ado I am going to close this video we'll definitely see you in the next one hope you have the most amazing day take care bye